Hey, and welcome back to the Dork Squad YouTube channel. My name is Scott, and today we're going to look at how to set up and stream directly from your PS4. For more videos on setting up and improving your live stream, hit the subscribe button down below, or you can check out my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash scottsadork. Now today we're going to specifically look at broadcasting to Twitch directly from your PS4. Now before we start, we need to make sure you've got two things. Number one, we need to test your internet connection. You can test your internet speed at speedtest.net. I'll chuck the link in the description below. Now your stream resolution will be determined by your internet's upload speed. Now Twitch have a rough guide of the required bitrate for your streaming resolution. Your PS4 is gonna determine this bitrate based on the output quality you select. I'll put this link in the description below. Remember your bitrate shouldn't occupy more than 75% of your total upload bandwidth. If your internet has an upload speed of four megabytes per second, you should be looking at streaming at three megabytes per second. And I can't stress this enough. Stability in your internet connection is key. The second thing you're gonna need is a Twitch account. So make sure that you've gone to twitch.tv and signed up for a Twitch account. All right, now that we've got all of that out of the way, let's start the setup. Go ahead and boot up your PS4. There is a Twitch app available from the PlayStation Store, but it's not required for you to stream. We're gonna look at setting up your stream using the broadcast integration already on your PS4. If you'd like to watch other people's streams on Twitch, you will need this Twitch app. Now before we get started, we're gonna to have to check a few settings. Head to your PS4 settings, scroll down to system, and we wanna make sure that the enable HDCP is unchecked. If you're using a microphone or a headset, you can go to devices in your PS4 settings menu. Scroll down to audio devices, and you should see your USB microphone or headset alongside the input device. I spoke a little bit in a previous video about interaction with the audience, so I would highly recommend you using a microphone or a headset. From this menu, you can adjust the volume in your headset and also adjust your microphone level. In the devices menu, you can also set up your PlayStation camera. Now, unfortunately, if you don't have a PlayStation camera, you can't use the webcam feature. The PS4 won't allow third-party webcams to be used. However, if you do have a PlayStation camera, you can adjust the settings here. In these advanced settings, you can choose the screen location, the frame size, the transparency, the brightness, and the contrast. Now that we've finished with our settings, let's set up your Twitch stream. To start, load the game you want to play. Once your game is booted, hit the share button on your PS4 controller. So we're going to scroll down to the sharing and broadcast settings, and then broadcast settings, and then again, advanced settings. Head to the audio sharing settings. Make sure you select the include microphone audio in broadcasts. If you're playing an online multiplayer game, you may want to include your party audio in the stream. Now this can be a tricky one. Do you really want your viewers to hear what your teammates have to say? I mean, you can control what you say, but you really can't control what they say. If you select display message to spectators and spectators comments, this will add the Twitch chat within your broadcast. This will allow you to keep an eye on your Twitch chat while you stream without the need of another screen or device. Once you're done with these settings, we can head back out to the game. You may need to hit the share button a second time. Now we're almost ready to broadcast gameplay. Select your platform. In this case, we're gonna be streaming to Twitch. Now, if this is your first time, you'll need to activate this device with Twitch. Now you can scan the QR code or simply open your web browser and head to twitch.tv slash activate. Once you're there, enter the unique code. Hit activate and you're done. Your PS4 is now linked to your Twitch account. Now before we go live, we can do a few final checks. If you have a PlayStation camera, you can activate it from this menu. Once again, we can choose to activate our microphone audio and whether we want to see the Twitch chat in our broadcast. Remember, live interaction is why people want to see you stream on Twitch. Set the title of your stream and choose your output quality. Your output quality should be determined by the test we did earlier. And when you're ready, hit start broadcasting. So now you're live. In the top left hand corner of your screen, you'll see your broadcast time. On the right hand side, you'll see your Twitch chat. Now remember, you can choose not to see the Twitch chat while you broadcast, but it's a great way to interact with your viewers. Above your chat window, there's a place for your PlayStation camera, 
and also information about your stream. If we open our web browser and check our channel, you can see that we're live. There may be a few seconds delay between what you see on screen and what you see on your channel. This is absolutely normal. When you're ready to finish broadcasting, hit the share button on your PS4 controller. Hit broadcast settings and then stop broadcasting. This will end your stream. And that's it, you're live, you're a Twitch streamer. And that's about all the time we have for today. For more videos on setting up or improving your Twitch stream, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Check the video description for all my social media links. Till next time guys, bye.